I've had a number of fascinating cases this past week, including this gentleman who has a full thickness corneal scar induced by a virus. He also has a cataract that we're going to try to remove here uh, through it with a closed system rather than the case I did last week where I did all of it in an open sky fashion. I've stained the anterior capsule with Vision Blue, Tripan Blue, which allows me to better visualize the tearing uh, through the corneal scar. I'm going to be fairly aggressive here with hydro dissection to bring the lens forward in a hydro expression fashion and then do a variety of cracking and chopping techniques. Uh, with the uh, cornea being replaced, I can I can move a little bit more anterior, adding an, uh, some measure of additional safety to the posterior capsule. Since I know that I'm going to replace the cornea, I'm less worried about the corneal endothelium. So here I'm removing this with ultrasound, something I would not be able to do with a femtosecond laser given the density of the corneal scar. I'm removing subincisional cortex here with the irrigation aspiration unit. Again, uh, protecting the posterior capsule. I'm going to remove the cornea here. I've got anterior, uh, I've got uh, viscoelastic in the anterior chamber. I've, uh, I'm advancing the blade uh, through the cornea uh, very uh, carefully here. Uh, I'm going to go into the, just barely get through decimase membrane and then release suction. I'm going to mark the um, uh, suture placement marks here. I'm just going to remove part of the uh, cornea. I don't want to remove all of this right now just in case there's an untoward event like a, uh, a choroidal hemorrhage or something like that, that that would want me to close the system quickly to uh, gain control. So I can I can just peel that cornea back and place the three-piece lens in place. Three-piece lens in combination with a smaller capsulorexis allows it to stay in place better than say the Gumby lens with a that's much more flexible. We've got the donor tissue and, and because of the extent of corneal neovascularization and deep vessels I'm just going to use inter, an interrupted suture pattern here with a 10 nylon suture. 10 nylon suture is one-fifth the diameter of, a, of the average human hair and uh, I've got this uh, tissue in place, the lens in place and the wound is secure. Thank you very much.